Do you know what? Eye gaze tracking is the process of measuring eye activity, also known as the point of gauge. More specifically, it analyzes human processing of visual information, measuring attention, interest, and arousal. So making it an incredibly useful tool for the research on human behavior. Well, I am not here to teach you about the gaze or gaze channel. I am here to discuss about the 12 PhD positions in the eye tracking research. And these positions are offered by Eyes for ICU. The full form is Eyes for Information, Communication and Understanding. So this is basically a big project, a European international project and governed by different universities in, different universities in Europe. And these all PhD positions are Marie Curie PhD. The po these positions will receive the funding of 36 months by the Marie Curie, or I can say in the full form, Mary Skoldowska Curie Doctor Network within the Horizon 2021 program of the European Commission. So this project will start on 1st of September and the hiring is already started and the last date to apply for these all 12 PhD positions is 30th of September. So please understand the research field of these positions are eye tracking or related field. So if you don't know about the Marie Curie PhD, the Marie Curie PhD, I will maybe I will make a I will make a separate video on this. But the Marie Curie PhD is like highly renowned as compared to the normal PhD in any country, right? So generally for the Marie Curie PhD provides a more financial support as compared to the normal PhD. So you will get the scholarship maybe 1.25 times the normal PhD scholarship provided by the provided by the any university or any country, right? So this is very renounced scholarship and the project itself is well renounced basically this is governed by the different universities so the all these 12 phd positions belong to the ice for icu however however these positions are at different countries and also like if doesn't matter like in the marie curie phd if you get the admission in one country you will have the chance to visit many countries and different trainings in one different training environments because i personally know about this basically they they it, it's marie curie phd is not just a phd because they train you for the uh, they train you to become the future leaders right so most of the times if you finish the marie curie phd uh, you will get a very good position at uni university research institute and even in the industry because you, you will get a world-class training industry-based training as well during your phd so i will not like uh, so i will not talk more about the Marie Curie phd as i will make a separate video so i will come to the these 12 phd positions so the positions receive funding for 36 months right basic requirements you need a master's degree in psychology behavioral science or in engineering and computer science so there are i will go through one by one for all these 12 phd positions what are the specific requirement however in one or two phd positions the requirement is uh, you masters in psychology or behavioral science and other other phd positions the requirement is you should have the masters in engineering or computer science right and you must have the interest towards like uh, one of the uh, following fields, for example, eye tracking, human factors, cognitive psychology, uh, ergonomics, uh, human machine interfaces, cognitive modeling, artificial intelligence, machine learning, statistics, software engineering. So you must have the interest towards this or you, so you can show uh, in your motivation letter. So if you don't know how to prepare the motivation letter, uh you can go through my previous video how to prepare a motivational letter right also one basic requirement and this is the fundamental requirement i can say right so the candidates must not have stayed more than 12 months during the last three years in the host country so for example if you are applying in Germany, because out of these 12 PhD positions, uh, some in Germany, some in other countries like Poland or other countries. So I'm just talking about in a specific country. For example, you are living in Germany for two years. And if you want to apply in Germany, it is not possible. It is not possible in Marie Curie PhD, right? So it is possible if you stayed less than one year in last three years. So in last three years, 
if you stayed less than one year in the same country, if you want to do PhD in the same country, it is possible. But if you have stayed more than three years, uh, sorry, more than one year during last three years, then it is not possible to apply in the same country. You can apply in other country, but not in the same country where you have already stayed for more than one year during the last three years. Okay, so you understand, right? My point. So here is the link when you can check all these 12 PhD positions and we will check just and we will also go through the inside like what is the specific course requirement because the requirements I told you like just the PhD requirement this is the PhD requirements Marie Curie PhD requirements right but what is the course specific or the topic specific requirements for example there are 12 PhD topics and what is the topic based requirements either you must have the engineering degree or computer science degree or you might have the degree in psychology or something like uh, or something else right so we will go through this okay so this is the link you can see ice4icu.eu slash recruitment right and if you go to this link so you will see there is 12 PhD positions right so if you click for example just like okay you can see the details right so this is the objective and where it is this is for example intention recognition right phd topic is and ulm university germany right and the field is psychology and behavioral sciences right so you can see and you can for example in order to apply this you need to click here and then it will now you can see the course specific requirements right so for example master's degree in psychology behavioral science and you must have the interest towards these field eye tracking this 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 whatever you can see here and you you need good written english right so you know this and like you already know this you must not have stayed more than 12 months during the last three years in germany because this position is in germany and then you can click here then you can click here for online application, for example. Okay. Yes. And then you can go to next, next, next and attachments and then just you have to fill the application. Okay. Yes. So this is the first position. But please remember, this is the first position. And I will just go to this is the second position, for example. And so unsupervised learning of deep case behavior representations and the field is engineering and computer science so either you have the degree in any engineering or in computer science so uh, you can apply for this position right so please remember in first position there was a link so you can go through inside but in this position like they will update but uh, you can contact to the Andreas Bulling. this is the contact right so for example if you click here you cannot find the information right to contact because there is no information to fill up the application and either uh, uh, and also you cannot find the in like uh, contact details of the professor or the contact person so what you can do you can go here and if you click here then you can find the contact right so Ulm University because this is the host institution this is the main institution right so you can contact at this university so oh, sorry this email id and you can just say okay i'm interested how to progress how to proceed further how to apply right so you can ask yes because this all recruitment basically uh, uh, the main institution is the ulm university germany right definitely there these phd positions are a different university but it's still these like uh, positions like uh, the host story i can say the main institution or main university is the ulm university germany this is the contact email id you can contact and just tell okay this is the topic i want to apply and this is also at this this uh, position is at university of stuttgart germany okay now the third this is in finland this position is in finland so effective and robust productive gauge based models in wine and also this is also related to the engineering and computer science do not worry about these topics right you say oh I, I i studied computer science i studied like signal processing i studied some electronics but why this position so in phd you will 
work in the different fields but you have to apply your skills in this field right you understand so you will do some signal processing you will do some like experiments or some results and data processing some programming some deep le learning you will do some machine learning techniques you will use so this is related to this don't think like this is totally related to the medical field okay you understand is my point yes and similarly here also no like information about the application so you need to, again you need to contact to uh, if you i click there is no information so you can contact directly to the that email id you can check in the contact right okay so there is a fourth position like here and here is the link you can see here is the link and also the field is engineering and computer science and here is the direct link so you can apply from this link understand so similarly for all those uh, like uh, phd positions you can just either you will find the direct link or if not you just go here and just send email and ask how to proceed further right you understand my point yes so generally like this email uh, like sorry uh, in general the deadline is 30th of september but you can ask like how to proceed and as soon as possible and they will guide you according right and if you need my help in order to prepare the documentation like motivational letter or like you must go through my uh, previous videos about motivational letter and how to get a funded phd please with this video full video about the phd please go through that video as well and if you need my help still you need my help you can contact me anytime i will definitely help okay so thank you very much this is all from the desi teacher in videsh and i will come up with uh, various like uh, job positions in europe for the international candidates international uh, students and also i will come up with the other scholarship like bachelor scholarship master's scholarship postdoc scholarships as well in different fields right with funding in Europe. So thank you very much and do not forget to subscribe, share and click on the bell icon so you can get updated for my new videos as well. Yes. So thank you very much and have a good day.